Morning! I have just done way too enthusiastic. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. That's way too enthusiastic for a Monday morning. Um, I woke up at half six. I forgot to film or introduce this then. There was a really nice sunset this morning. Sunset? Sunrise. But yeah, I just went to the gym for like an hour and now I'm just going to have a shower. Welcome to the weekly vlog. Okay, so I've just got ready for my lecture. Oh, is that my phone? Um, I just like had a shower and I've done a bit of work. I've done one reading, um, but I'm just wearing just this jumper, jeans and bands, literally the same as always. Um, I'm probably gonna put my hair up because I've had it in a ponytail for like the whole weekend and it's like sticking up. Um, yeah. Okay, I've just come back from my um, last seminar of the day. Um, I'm just cooking some frozen veg. Um, I've then got some mushrooms and then I'm cooking a little chicken Kiev. Okay, so I've literally never done this before, <laughs> as you can tell. But I wanted my hair to be um, curly for tomorrow because I've just been putting it up loads and I just want it to be curly again um, and instead of doing I used to do these like braids into like buns that would make it like naturally curly but then it would sometimes go frizzy um, so I've just curled it um, but I haven't brushed it out um, and I'm just <laughs> pinning it up um, but I only have these clips and I have like no rollers or anything so I'm literally just grabbing sections and kind of and I only have like four clips so this is not gonna stay up throughout the night is it <laughs> nope I need to buy some more hair clips. <laughs> I'm also going out for drinks Friday, so I literally have one outfit that I can possibly wear for drinks here in Portsmouth, and I only have one pair of heels, so we're just gonna have to go with that outfit. Because <laughs> I literally have nothing else. All of that. Wow, so sexy. <coughs> I need to buy some like rollers but I want my hair like there's this girl um, I follow on Instagram and her name's Ava and her hair's um like was brown but then it's now blonde and it's like big and voluminous and obviously I only have these curlers not the big thick ones so my hair comes out like thinner also have a lot of it and it's just hard to curl but yeah so just go out like this. Should we hairspray it? God, imagine if I had curly hair. This is what old ladies look like, isn't it? Okay guys, it's currently half six, it's Tuesday, um, it's so light outside, I literally like woke up before my alarm, um, yeah so I'm just going to get to the gym, I'm just going to do like a quick-ish workout. I haven't bothered with makeup at all as per usual because I just can't be bothered. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've just got on my 
little cropped um, denim jacket from Topshop from last year. A little natural vibes. Um, leather trousers and the bands. That's my little outfit, and this is how my hair turned out. Also, now I decided to put on my little baby boy. Because my hair looked a bit, um, not that nice. Hello guys, it's Wednesday. Um, obviously I didn't film anything yesterday apart from me going to my lectures, but um, Tuesdays are like my busiest day and I'm in lectures till like five. Um, and then I was just doing reading and had dinner. So there wasn't really much to film. Um, it's currently 6.30 and I'm on the way to the gym. So current plan for today is to read all of these books um, because my from the key reading and because obviously I can't find anything other than that and then I think we get given a um, essay plan on Friday so I just want to do the reading today and tomorrow and then on Friday I can get given the essay plan and start to actually like write the essay and put it into sections of my reading and then do more reading if I need to so hopefully my essay will be done on the weekend maybe that's what I hope um so that next week I'm able to do um well, there we go turned it around um so then next week I'm able to like do more work um whilst I'm here so then I don't have to do as much when I'm back home because obviously I'd rather work more hours um and I've got overtime so that's good um but there just seems to be a lot of like, like I think I picked a really bad question because there seems to be loads about anorexia but nothing about um, biomedical and criticising biomedical and stuff like that. So hopefully the essay plan she gives us on Friday will help that. I hope so anyway. Otherwise I'm screwed because I would literally like to get it like Saturday, Sunday, just write this essay complete it and then like Sunday night because I got given feedback from my theorising um, essay so I can finish that because that's then due Friday so I can literally completely do that and maybe submit it um, or not submit it and get my mum to read through it when I go back on Thursday I'm so excited to go home <laughs> I just like being home and I feel less stressed, I don't know why, like, I, like I, I'll literally have, I have basically left to do this year, I have obviously an exam, I have my theorising essay, my um, observing society essay, my class essay, my group report, my individual report and my learning portfolio. I've done my um, theorising basically. This is my class, so after this week hopefully that will be done. Um, my group report is easy and then my, hopefully my observing society. I've, I've basically done like some of the reading for it and when I was doing the reading like I was like wow this actually goes with the like documentaries we were watching. So I could literally do that in a week. I reckon because um, the music section was really simple I could do that in a day the race one could do in a day like it's quite simple ish um, so next week I'd kind of like to do my um, individual report for RDA um, even though I have no clue how to do that um, it'd be good if I can get that done because my learning portfolio is easy but um, you have to do 700 words of um, like a kind of like a mini essay but that goes with like the revision 
for my exam. So like, if I do revision for my exam, then one of those revision things I can just do for that 700 words kind of thing. So, yes. Oh, that's not what I want. But yeah, so basically that is my plan. Probably doesn't make sense to you. Um, I'm just trying to get it all like done. Like I wish I would have done this one ages ago. That would have made my life a lot easier. Okay, so I've literally done literally all of the reading I possibly can um, for this essay. I still don't have a clue. <laughs> Like we were gonna be given like an essay plan or something like that. And then obviously we have the seminar for it um, on Friday. So I wanted to just get all the reading done by then, but I've literally done it all. Like all of the ones that I can possibly do. I, it's still not really answered the question. Um, so I'm just gonna wait till then, but obviously I've now got all day today and all day tomorrow and I don't know what to do. Because I can't, I don't like doing like different things. I'd rather do like one thing, get it out of the way. Um, so I might do some reading for my observing. I also made soup and I put cheese in it and no, it wasn't a good mix. It went all hard and st oh, it's making me feel sick. So I might um, be a bit unhealthy and have some toast. my debate because I literally have no energy now because I just I want this essay out of the way because it just seems to be like really hard okay so um, I literally didn't film anything yesterday mainly because I didn't do anything I was just I think this week's probably gonna be really boring obviously I'm going out Friday um, I'm just like doing work and if I'm not doing work then I'm just like watching YouTube that's literally all I'm doing um but yeah yesterday I literally just either done work or was watching YouTube um I woke up this morning and I was just so like not in the mood to go to the gym um I think I need like a new workout because I just get bored um so it's currently like I slept in till eight, um, and then I've decided because I was gonna not go on the weekend, but I decided I'll go on Sunday instead of today. Um, but yeah, I have a lecture at ten, and then um, my research group we're gonna go um, either into my building, which is Chaucer, into the study area or the library. Um, and try and find a space in the library. Oh, I look disgusting. I don't care. Um, yeah, I'm very excited that in a week I'll be, I'll be packing to come home. Okay, so I don't know why. <laughs> I was just sat here and I was like, I'm really hungry. I can't wait to make some food. I've got t like 10 minutes. And then I was like, oh, I really, because basically like, my eyebrows are so thin you know like when people do them really fluffy and they're like defined underneath it i was like i can't do that like i can't get my eyebrows like that and i was like job go try again so i'd done it and i'd done my eyebrows in like 30 seconds and then i was like oh i really want to try putting on foundation with a brush which i never do so i've just attempted that and then i also have never done cream contour so i attempted cream contours and no bronzer so for some reason I've now just ended up doing my makeup in a way that I've never done my makeup before. <laughs> um, colour match doesn't match me. <laughs> I don't know why I've just done that, but I've literally done it in like 10 minutes and I'm about to wipe it all off again. I also didn't even um, line my lips. So <laughs> I'm never going to do my makeup like this again. Um, but I'm not going to lie though, I really do quite like fluffyish brows ish I mean I don't think they suit me but okay. 
literally put this in for the same time I always put it in for and it's burnt. And I don't know why and now I'm really fucking sad. I don't understand. I put on this bodysuit and it's like um, sparkly and it goes down. I can't get it off. <laughs> it's so hard to get on and Oh, I shouldn't do that. I literally, I can't get it over, like, my shoulders. Like, I'm genuinely... When we were in the change room, I ran up to help. And... I, like, I, I genuinely don't know how I'm going to get out. Things are smoking here. Um, <laughs> uh, it's currently Friday. I'm on my way to the gym. Um, I'm sorry these vlogs have been like really boring. Um, I'm gonna get ready tonight and hopefully do like a get ready sort of drink with me. Just ground floor. I have anything to talk about. Okay, so I went for my little food shop. Um, I came back, had a shower, and everything. Um, I just had my seminar um, and then I went to get a new beauty blender because. Oh, I'll show you tonight what my old beauty blender looked like. Jesus. <laughs> okay, so I'm currently debating either wearing um, this tonight, which is what I wore to Ella's, and wear my hair down and curly with my um, cropped denim jacket just because it's cold. But these are so like tight, as you can see, like it's giving me like knee fat. And they're really high. Um, but yeah, so I was either going to wear this or my black normal Topshop Joni jeans. And this shirt. Either just like completely done up or tied like I did for my birthday last year. Um, but if I'd done that then I'd have my hair in like middle parting, slipped back bun. So... I don't know what to, to wear. I may just wear the orange shirt and my hair back because I kind of I haven't done my hair like slicked in ages. And my fake tan is slightly disgusting. Okay, so I have decided on this one. Like, obviously, my hair will be more slicked. And this, I don't know whether to wear it, so I'm going to wear, um, I haven't got a bra on, I'm either going to wear it like all done up or um, tie it and wear a black bralette so I can undo this a bit more. Look at my hair. <laughs> I was walking around with my hair like this. What the fuck? Okay, so I just picked up a McDonald's because I'm having a cheat day. Um, and I got mozzarella dippers, a lemonade, um, chicken snacks, and just some chips. And then also my pretty little thing necklace arrived because it's basically the same one that I had last year, but it's just turned not gold anymore, so I bought a new one. Look how disgusting my old necklace looks. Like, I thought this was gold, but this is like how it came like a year ago. Like, that's lasted a year. But, like, look how gold that is. Okay, so. That was so loud. I'm, um, like, halfway through my makeup. Um,. And obviously I haven't done my eyes yet, or my lips, or ignore the lighting, it looks like I have like, it's really bad. Um, I am not naked, I'm wearing a bandeau, 
um but yeah i always get questions about my eyeshadow if you're wondering what i'm wearing on my face it's literally from like the first video i ever done um god it looks really bad in here um but people ask me what my like clubbing kind of makeup is which is always the same face but i just then do eyeshadow so what i use first is mac nylon and i just sorry if you can't see what i'm doing there's like no way to put you up but i just put that on my brow bone i'm going for drinks tonight um probably would have said earlier in the video but yeah it's one of the girls I'm moving in with birthday like her birthday drinks so I'm just powdering under my eyes just set my face and everything but god it, I look really bad like look how intense my nose contour looks I promise you, it's not. Jeez. I just realised I used my really intense brush to nose contour instead of my fluffy one. And that's why it looks like that. Oh shit. Right, let's. Right, anyway, I can't fix it now. Um, yeah, then I'm going to go in with my MAC 221 brush. 221? 224. And I always use the shade Chickadee, but as you can tell, Chickadee's running low because there's literally nothing in it. This wow. Yeah, um... Makeup Geek, which is where all these like eyeshadows are from, have oh my god, that had black on it. This is just going wrong. Um, they've stopped selling Chickadee. God knows why. It was like they, they've stopped selling loads of their colours actually. Um, which for me, considering it's literally all I use on my eyes. So normally this comes out a lot more intense, but there's literally nothing in the pan. It's kind of mixing in with black at the same time. So, hmm. I'm going with a tiny bit of P. Louise mixed with Sunkiss from the P. Louise palette. Just. Right, well, and then I go in with Burnt from the P. Louise palette. I used to use Makeup Geek ones, but um, those have run out. And just go into the crease with that one. I guess it should kind of like trust the process. Um, should kind of look like that. I'm just going to blend it out again. Then I go in with same brush with it's gonna run out a mix of latte and what colour is it? Cabin fever, but to be fair I might change that and go for one of these Anastasia colours. I don't know what they are, one's like brick and one's something else. Because I find the PDs bait like um eyeshadows if I went in with latte it's really then hard to put that one over the top of it like you can't really layer them that well yeah so I'm just going in with these warm tone 
browns. This is going to turn out awful. Even though I do the same thing every single time. I go out. Sometimes it looks good, sometimes it looks bad. Then I'm just going to go in with Bestie. Um, all over the lid and blend it up. This is looking awful. I basically just do the exact same to the bottom and then I get uh, MAC Nylon again. And oops, put that into my inner corners. I literally look like a panda right now. I really need a light orange shade because that's why it's kind of like gone really like it's not gradient at the top because I have like nothing to put. Also my hands are a bit patchy because I've washed them and I'm wearing just like one day tan. It's kind of patchy because I've still got like my no like um my normal bondi underneath but it's like really like it's come to the end and it's kind of just come off gradually but there's like still bits of it left highlight i um where's my brush okay you can kind of see a bit better i've put on the flash um so that's like my eyes um i can't find my nose highlight brush but i'm just gonna put a bit more Highlight on. I feel like it is. Oh, that did not make sense. Okay, okay, so this is the finished makeup. I can't see because this is on flash. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do my hair in a. Um, also, if my lips look pale, I am gonna apply a darker colour. Um, I'm gonna put my hair, scrape it back. Because I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I am basically ready. I mean, tan's patchy. I'm gonna go over it again. Um, um and my hair's done. Just need to like put on jewelry and stuff like that. Um, cracking open a. Because basically, I only have like ten pounds for drinks. Um. Like fifteen pounds ish. So, and I need to drink this up because I don't want to have to carry back. I mean, I know it's only small, but I don't want to have to carry back alcohol to um, Bristol because I've already got like a proper bottle. Oh wow! I literally filled up like to like here. Oh. Do you know what? I like, what's it called? Um, not Chardonnay. What's it called? Sauvignon Blanc. That's the one I prefer, but that was more expensive. I have a funny story actually. I want to sit on the chair, but then you can't see me. Um, about Chardonnay. Basically, it was Megan's like leaving do last year. Um, for when she went to America and Eloise kept saying Chardonnay and then uh, guinea fowl, well, guinea fowl's like a bird I think, can you eat it? I don't know. But we were just having like jokes about guinea fowl and then we, there were these two cats and we were just like chasing these cats, we were li literally like 19 <laughs> and we were chasing these cats calling them Chardonnay and guinea fowl. Okay, this is warm, it doesn't taste that nice. But yeah, I thought I'd just sit and chat. I look really bold. And this ear sticks out more than the other. So is it this ear? Yeah. It's gonna look weird. I'm wearing my orange shirt. Can you see it? No. Let's put on my rings. I prefer doing like drink with me's. I mean, this isn't really a drink with me. Um, with 
like Ella or someone here because we literally just chat shit and I have a video from New Year's um like after the get ready with me that I've posted um it's just like a drinks with us and it's meant to go on Ella's page but I don't know how to get it onto Ella's like phone and stuff for her to post it so I don't know what we're gonna do about that um I'll ask her um if I'm editing that and we're literally just trying shit we're literally just talking about anything I really want, um, if anyone knows about the um, Olivia Jade scandal, I really want her to come out and like make a YouTube video or like um, do a tweet or an Instagram post or something. Obviously she probably can for like legal reasons, but it has like no taste to it. It's kind of like sour water or oh, because it's warm um but yeah the um i how do people this is what i don't get how do people like she complains like say if someone from england complained about school all the time like no one everyone knew she didn't like school complained about school all the time having to do work if they then sat down and went oh yeah guys i'm going to oxford or cambridge you'd be like how and why like why would you want to do that um but no one picked up on that one she was like oh yeah i'm going to this which i didn't realize it was a good school but apparently it's one of the best if you all don't know what i'm on about search olivia jade scandal oh i need to put it's a great town on my hands because i've washed no, let's take the rings back off yeah, so basically there's a, a YouTuber, Olivia Jade, who I watch. I've watched her for quite a while. And um, basically she doesn't really like school. And she's from America and she got into UCL. And she basically made a little video and she was saying how um, like she's just going there for like the parties and the game days and stuff like that. And um, she had to make an apology video for that. But she her mum is Laurie Laughlin Laughlin I never heard of her before but she was in some American show um and she's like quite famous and then her dad's like a designer like a famous designer um and it turns out that they paid for her and I mean there's loads of other people involved but it's like she's getting most of the backlash because she is like on social media um and her sister as well her parents paid five hundred thousand to fake her sat scores um like her a level gcses whatever the hell it is in english form and um to get in and they also photoshopped her face onto a rower to make it seem like she was in the crew team like the rowing team so she could get in if someone done that here like they wouldn't be able to get in if you were like oh yeah he does rowing you'd be like and he doesn't have the grades so i just think she needs to make a video being like hi <laughs> can you answer the comments she's disabled like loads of comments um, on her YouTube and Instagram and her sister has as well but I don't think she'll ever be able to come back from it because Sephora, she had a range with Sephora they've cut her out it's awful oh no should I put it in the fridge? I've literally just left it on my bed. Goes with chicken salads or creamy pasta. Lovely. I'm actually quite cold. So I'm, I don't really want to put anything else on because I'm a bit sticky. Should I put my outfit on? Yeah, I'm going to put my outfit on. 
Okie dokie, I'm now officially ready. Um, this is my little outfit. Mm, I may tie this up because I kind of liked it being down. But now I've seen it on camera, I kind of want it tied up. Yeah, I'm going to tie this up. Um, but yeah, this is from Pretty Little Thing. This bralette's from Primark. Um, Topshop and uh, Matalan, I think. So, yeah. Sixth floor. Okay, so it's currently like eight o'clock. Um, I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching.